Want to learn how you can organize your clip art in Canva so that you can quickly and easily find them? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Cherie here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and we're going to jump right into how you can get organized in Canva, especially when you're uploading new graphics. So to get started, make sure that you're on the Canva home screen, and what we're going to do is upload graphics before we start designing, and make sure that they're organized. So to do that, on the left side panel, we'll just click on Project. And then you'll see in all category, folders, designs, brand templates, image, and videos. What we want to do is create some folders. So just click on the folder icon. And then you can create a folder. So for example, we can click add new. And we can label this folder. And we can name this folder graphics or you can name it clip arts. Um, I'm going to just put graphics. Okay, and then I'm going to hit continue. Okay, once you create your graphics folder, you're going to open that. And now we're going to add additional folders to this. And these additional folders are going to be based off the themes of the graphics that you're adding. So I'm going to click add new folder. And I'm going to name this mermaids. All right, and then I'm going to hit continue. Okay, so I'm going to click on mermaid and I have a bunch of graphics that I want to add to this. So I'm just going to go to my folder where I have my mermaid graphic set. And I'm just going to select the ones that I want to add. I'm going to click drag and hold it and release. Okay, so it's adding all of my mermaid graphics to this folder. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to go back to that folder to see if I want to add some more. So I don't see any dark skin tone mermaids on here. So I know I want to go back to my mermaids folder and add some of that. So I'm going to go to, I think it's here. Okay, so I have some more here. I'm just going to click on those. Click, drag, and hold and release. And now I'm just going back and adding all the graphics that I want. So I have some backgrounds too that I want to be sure to add as well. Okay, so I'm going to go back to graphics. That's all the mermaid items that I want to add. Okay, now I want to add another folder. And let me see. Okay, so circus, I got some cheerleading. Okay, so I want to add my cheerleading one. So at the top right, we're still under the graphics folder. We just added mermaids. It says zero items now, but when we refresh, it'll show how many. So as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and reload this page. Okay, so we can see that our mermaid folder has 35 graphics in there. All right, so I'm going to add a new folder. Okay, we are still under graphics, and I'm going to name this cheer. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to open the cheer folder. And then I'm going to open my folder that I have with my cheerleading graphics. So I'm just going to select all. So I have cheerleaders in different skin tones, different colored uniforms. Um, and then I also have different hairstyles so I can customize my cheerleaders um, as well as bows and little um, pom poms. So I'm going to just click hold and drag it over. This one has 159. So we're just going to release and it's going to do its thing. So um, this is great to help you stay organized. So instead of just uploading individual graphics to particular designs, it's best if you just go ahead on the front end, add all of those graphics at once because it'll not only save you time, but it'll keep you organized and you'll know exactly where it is. And you don't have to think of like, what did I name that? Or what is that tag? Because we already have it organized in a folder. So we could keep going, but I hopefully you understand. So if I go back to graphics, so now I have a folder for cheer with all my cheer graphics. Okay, if I go to graphics, I have a folder for mermaid with all my mermaid graphics. 
and we could do this one more time but i think you got the hang of adding graphics so the, again this is our graphics folder if you wanted to you could add a folder called backgrounds but i include my backgrounds in the theme so for example if i have a superhero theme i would include my superhero backgrounds in that folder but if you wanted to create a folder under graphics that says background and include all your backgrounds in there you could do that as well it's totally up to you so again all you have to do we're in projects to create a folder just go to folders and then you can click add new but if you want to add that to a particular folder so for example let's say you're uploading graphics you'll go to your graphics folder and then you'll click add new add new folder and then what is the next theme so i could put circus i could hit continue okay so now i want to click on that one and then bring in all of my circus graphics so i'd select click hold and drag it over and it'll bring it in. All right, next I wanna show you how to organize previously uploaded designs. So click on projects in the left side panel, then click on uploads. Then what you're gonna do is select the designs that you wanna to move to a folder. So I'm going to select my Valentine background. So I'm just gonna select each one, just click it. And then at the bottom, you'll see a folder icon. You'll click that and then you'll select the folder that you wanna move it to. And you can do that to all your files. Now that you've organized your clip art, let's see how we can use them and access them while we're designing. Now let's say um, we're looking for a circus girls. Okay, and the circus girls that they have, we don't like. But then we remember, hey, I have my own girls that I wanna add. So on the left side, you're gonna select projects. You'll click on your folders. And remember, you'll go to your graphics and now you'll click on circus. And now we see our circus designs right here. Okay. And so let's say you click off of that and then you decide to go back to your elements. You can click on elements and you want to look for something else. But then you're like, okay, I need to go back to that folder. Well, if you look on the left side, it has your most used folders. And so you should be able to see circus right here on the left side. You just have to scroll down. So now we can go back to circus and we can see all of our designs. All right, let's say we want to make a mermaid invitation. Well, I already have a mermaid folder. So remember you're in your folders, you go to graphics and you click on mermaid. And so not only do you have the backgrounds, you can just um, click one to add it. And this is such a time saver because you have everything in one spot. So not only do I have my background there, I also have my mermaid girls there. I have additional clip art that if I want to add maybe a little fish, we can add that there. Okay, so what's great about that is everything is in one spot. Okay, let's say that you forgot to upload a particular graphic so if you go back to your uploads folder and we go back to mermaids and let's say that let's say I forgot to add this right here this mermaid tail so I can click and drag it over but I don't want it to just be in my uploads folder I want to add it to my mermaids folder so with it selected you're going to click the three dots you're going to click on info and you're going to select move to folder it'll show you your recent folders and so since we already have mermaid here we'll just click on mermaid and hit add to folder okay so now when we go back and we look at our graphics and then we go to mermaid we should see that once we refresh it so i would have to refresh it first and we can go to our projects we can go to folders our graphics go to mermaid and there it is so even if you upload it while you're designing you can still add it to a folder to save you time okay also while you're in your folder let's say that you um accidentally put something in there that doesn't belong there so let's say that this was a mermaid and it was in the wrong folder you can click the three dots and move it to a different folder 
The next thing I wanna show you is how to add Canva elements to your folders. Now let's say that there is a mermaid design that is within Canva that you absolutely love. So I'm gonna search for mermaid girl. I'm gonna go to graphics. Let me click on her. Okay, so let's say you see this mermaid. Um, you know what, let me do this one instead. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so let's say you see this mermaid and you absolutely love it. You wanna use it for future designs. So how do you add a graphic that's already in Canva to a folder? Well, you're gonna select it. You're gonna hit the three dots and you're gonna click on info and you can add this to a folder. So click add to folder and select the folder you wanna add it to, or you can create a new one. Since I already have a mermaid folder, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna hit add to folder. Okay, so if I were to delete this, I delete her. Let me go ahead and refresh. Okay, so if I go to my folders, I, I just saw graphics there. And if I go to mermaid, let's see if she's in there now. And there she is. So you can add graphics from Canva to your folders that's saved. Again, to access your graphics, instead of going to uploads and scrolling um, until you find it, again, just save it to a folder. So again, to find it, you would go to projects, you'd select folders, you would find your folder, select your theme, and there they are. All right, and then if you use it often enough, it'll just automatically populate on the left side panel. So hopefully you learned something new. If you did, be sure to like and follow for more. Later, y'all.